Let me turn now into, into English. It's indeed a great pleasure for me to welcome you here uh, for the second edition of the FIFA uh, Coach Mentoring Program. Welcome to all of you mentees and mentors to this workshop, which is a fantastic opportunity to share skills, knowledge and experience and learn from each other. And those learning are very crucial to the development and the growth of the women game, as we all know. This initiative, as you have seen uh, from uh, the short video, aims to develop and empower a new generation of female coaches who will be individually mentored by a top coach from the women's game over the next 18 months. The aim of this program is very simple indeed. It aims to ensure that we have more women coaches at the highest level. To help female coaches to achieve greater results in their current position by offering coaching, guidance, and support on career development and creating a global network. I think it's an extremely exciting program. It's my second time being part of it. Unfortunately, the first time I didn't have the coaches that I needed to mentor. Um, this time around, I have a coach of Malawi. I think it's, it's a fantastic program because you need to get more coaches and need to get more coaches at an elite level, especially female coaches. And I think this program uh, is really opening those opportunities for, for other coaches to come through. I think the specialness of the program is that you get to not only have your mentee, but you have all these other top coaches that you can network with. I remember um, sitting with Jill Ellis and she used to call me cousin because we've got the same surname, but just listening to their conversations, you know, of things that happened in the past, you, you actually learn and grow and you can use that going forward as a coach because they've experienced some of the things that we're currently experiencing. So it's, it's a learning tool, not just us teaching the mentors, mentees, but us learning from other coaches as well. And I think that's what makes it so exciting. You, had, you have World Cup uh, winners, you have Olympic winners here, and you get to pick their brains. And I think that is just amazing about this program. I think my key goal is to go away being a better individual, but also being able to help my mentee become better and for both of us to learn and grow from each other. I think you've got to be able to teach, but you've also got to be able to learn and grow together, together with your team. You've got to be able to look at the strengths and the weaknesses and be able to improve on both. Um, and you've got to have good player management skills. I think that is key because at the end of the day, you're managing players, and if you get the best out of them in that way, they'll do the best for you on the field. And I think that was so evident in our WAFCON victory where we said if we're united together, not just the players by themselves, but the staff as well, if we have one common goal, we can win this. And we did, you know, especially on the last day when there was, that stadium was packed out. But the focus was so important and the focus was so important on the match itself. And it didn't matter how many fans there were because we knew back home there was almost 60 million supporting us. I think it has improved tremendously. And I think um, Africa is a little bit behind um, because not many MAs have um, national teams. But if you look at the last WAFCON, we have 12 countries for the first time. You had four debutants and I didn't feel that they were out of place when you look at the scores and the margins. It wasn't big margins. Um, you look at Zambia, for example, went to the last um, Olympic Games and now they're going to the World Cup. So it shows a lot, a lot of progress. Look at Botswana being there for the first time, getting to the quarterfinals. Tunisia knocking out a former two-time champion, Equatorial Guinea, getting to the, getting to the quarterfinals. Senegal now going to a playoff, um, knocking out um, a Mali who were there in 2018 as a semi-finalist. I think it's really growing on the continent, but I think more needs to be done in terms of um, leagues, proper leagues, um, most MAs are having proper leagues, that's the next step. And then obviously, when that is all in place, then to professionalize the sport, because if you want to compete with the rest of the world, you've got to professionalize the sport. Um, more programs, in, in, especially in Africa, especially for our female coaches. When you look at the last WAFCON, there weren't many female coaches there, but there are many out there, because the Kosafa region, where we, where we come from, um, they have a rule that says your head coach must be a female. So they're already trying to grow the game in that way and have a lot of programs as well. I think um, the mentorship program is a very good program. 
but I believe that there need to be more programs for women, whether it be coaches, whether it be administrators, whether it be referees, because there's so much talent all over, but that those programs will, will elevate it more and bring more females into the game. And FIFA can play a huge role in that, where they get involved in the different confederations, but also hold them accountable to make sure that these programs are up and running. I think it's important to have these youth tournaments. I think there's a step-by-step -step growth. Um, some of the players you see at U17, and I can attest to that because we currently have in our senior squad, we have a couple of players that went to the 2010 um, Under-17 World Cup in Trinidad and Tobago. We also have players that recently went to the 2018 World Cup in uh, the captain and the vice captain and, and a few others. And of our bigger core group, there are so many players coming through that, that system that eventually plays for the under 20. So the experience that they gain at these tournaments hold them in good stead. And importantly, creating opportunities for these um, players, not just to play in the under 20 or U17, but a lot of these under 20 players actually get contracts abroad and make a career out of football. Look, I think uh, today, especially today, there was a, a session on analysis and I didn't know that it went that deep, you know, having one individual following one player for the duration of the match and just goes to show that there's still a lot to learn for us. Um, and every time you come to a, 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 an event like this with a development um, of coaches, you learn more and more because, as I said, we sit, we sit together and we sort of talk and, and then the lights go on. Wow, I can use that going forward. The same with the coach who you meant, or you're mentoring, there's so much you can learn from them because we each come from different situations, different backgrounds, and maybe there's a problem that they've already solved. And just by speaking about it, I get to learn um, about that and be able to solve something in the future.